Welcome to number 57, Chinuch at Home. Thank you, Shiv Dachaliach, Chazak, and TorahAnytime.com. I'm going to talk about hands-off Chinuch. We know the expression hands-on Chinuch. It has a number of applications. I think the most obvious one is where you put in the hands of the child actual materials for the kid to work with. There are practical life materials you can give a child there's certainly even materials where you've got vocabulary cards. They would match with the Hebrew word and the English word. That, that would be part of hands-on chinuch. Hands-off chinuch is actually in some ways more important, and I'll explain. Shlomo HaMalech, Hacham Mekol Adam, who gave us the mission statement of chinuch. Chanuch Lenar Al Pidarkai. Look at the pasuk carefully and it becomes obvious that the Torah is telling me through Ruach HaKadosh of Shlomo Melech that Chinuch cannot even start until Darkai has been revealed. And that requires hands off, observation, watch. Let the child teach you who he is. One of the most powerful times to do that is recess. Yeah, your hands are off so to speak, you're off duty, go outside, play with the kids during recess. Because, or at least watch them during recess. If you play with the kids, that's an amazing way to build rapport. But Hands Off Chinuch includes just spend time watching who is a good winner, who's a not a good winner, who's a poor loser, who's a good loser, who loses graciously, who is a team player, who passes the ball, who is selfish, holds on to the ball, who is um, so goal-oriented, uh, he's got to win the game and that's what matters the most, that he can even open his mouth and insult and hurt other people on his team, bad shot or against the other uh, team players, who is Ben Adam Lechaveroi, an example of getting along with others and who isn't. Sharing, being selfish, there's so much you're going to learn when it's hands off. Hands of Chinuch has to do with deliberately spending time watching and observing and knowing what you're looking for. You're looking to learn, let the child profile himself, let the child reveal himself in his interaction. And Hands of Chinuch, I'll give you one last example. This is your take home. When a child gives you an answer to a question, don't, don't easily say, not, no, that's the wrong answer. Always dig. Ask them, What's behind your answer? That's called hands off. You're, 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 you're not telling them that's the wrong answer, here's the right answer. You're asking them to reveal to themselves. So al pidarkai, according to the mind of the child, you can be mechanech, you can direct the child to find the right answer. But guess what? Many times they'll give you an explanation which might make you realize, oh my gosh, there's more than one answer to this question. Or the way he understood it, now I, it reveals he misunderstood my question and the answer he gave was actually the right answer to the question he thought I asked. So the take home is... Consider hands off chinuch may play a more important role than hands on. That's Rabba.